stem cell debate. Before going into the discussion of stem cell debate, I want to tell you something about the process of hematopoiesis in which all the blood cells of the human body arises from a single cell known as stem cell and this process is known as hematopoiesis. Now stem cell therapy is not new for us because in the last 10 years, physicians are using bone marrow stem cell transplant for the treatment of the patients. But controversies and excitement arise whenever we talk about the use of embryos for the removal of stem cell. Where we talked about stem cell removal from the human embryo, ethical issues arise. Now from where the excitement arises from this idea? This is actually this human embryo or this stem cell has a great potential to cure different type of diseases that are caused in human beings. And controversies are actually centered on the moral issues that what is right and what is wrong. So the main moral issue is about the respect of the human embryo and what about the destruction of human embryo that occurs during the stem cell research. Some people say that the stem cell should be or the human embryo should be five days old whenever we use it for the stem cell research. Otherwise, it is not considered to be the destruction of human embryo. When we want to do stem cell research, we human embryos destroy human And only one embryo is considered to be suitable for cloning for in vitro fertilization. So here the destruction of human ari uh, embryos arises. Now number of difficult questions are associated with the human embryo that does life begin at uh, fertilization or in the womb or at birth. So according to Jewish religion the uh, the human embryo is considered to be a personhood when the age is 40 days after fertilization and same in Islam. So is a human embryo is equivalent to human child or not? So whenever we considered a patient who is on coma, then we considered the respect of the patient as well and we treat him or her as a human being. So why not human embryo should be considered as a full human being? Does human embryo have any rights? Now here we can divide the rights into degree levels that if the human embryo has an age of 40 days before fertilization then it has a lesser degree and the rights, a degree of rights increases as the gestation week increases. So is the embryo really destroyed or it is justified to use number of embryos for stem cell research or to destroy human embryo for stem cell research. So it is something unethical, not moral. So here ethical, moral, social and even legal issue arises. In 2006, it was found that patient cells can also behave as a human embryo. So the uh, use of human embryo reduces here and the political parties want to decide that whether they want to use this human embryo in a stem cell research or not and how they regulate the funds in the stem cell research. So uh, globally legislations were decided according to which stem cell research should be continued but the use of human embryo in the stem cell research should be prohibited. For example, if a taxpayer uh, is not considered the use of stem cell research or the use of human embryo in the stem cell research as ethical, then what is the use of his money in uh, spending it in the funds of stem cell research? So, so the question is that should taxpayer money used in stem cell research when he or she believed that this stem cell research is something unethical. Now in 2001 Bush reduces the amount of fund in the stem cell research. So the Bush 
destroy uh, the use of human embryo or reduces the destruction of human embryo in stem cell research. Similarly, in 2006, Obama increases the fund for stem cell research. So this increases the uh, ambiguity for policy makers that whether there is a difference between the pluripotent stem cells or the a human embryo stem cells. So the policy makers started uh, making new questions.